So it's been a while since I last posted a video here on the channel. In fact, as of the time of recording this, it's been exactly 598 days or roughly one year and eight months. That's a long time to be away. And I know some of you are probably wondering whatever happened to that Cobra Tom guy, you know, the one who used to do the Godot tutorials. So before I get into the main topic of this video, which is my 30 hour Godot 4 course, let me give you a whistle stop tour of what's been occupying my time. You might have also noticed, by the way, the new setup, which I won't go into too much detail, but earlier this year I finally upgraded from working in my kitchen, uh, which I've been doing for roughly three years, to converting my garage into a fully fledged office. It's a much nicer experience and one I definitely couldn't live without now that I have it. That aside, let's get into the video. By the way, if you stick around to the end of this video, I have some future updates I'd like to share with you, as well as something special for those of you that make it to the end. As some of you may or may not know, back in late 2020, I was approached by Heroic Labs. They're the brains behind the Nakama open source game backend, and they're also platinum sponsors of Godot. They asked me to put together a series of video tutorials that covered how to create a multiplayer game using their Nakama product and the Unity game engine. That took several months to put together, and then when it was complete, it provided viewers with a complete step-by-step -step tutorial that covered everything they needed to create a 2D multiplayer platform shooter using Unity and Nakama. After that piece of work, the guys at Heroic actually asked me to join them full-time, which honestly, I bit their hand off to accept. <laughs> and then I ended up joining them in June 2021 as an engineer and part of their new developer relations team. So as you can imagine, this has kept me pretty busy for the last two and a half years, but that's not the only thing I've done during that time. In March 2022, I was asked to create a course for the then alpha Godot 4 for a new platform that was in the works called Quiver.dev. To give you a brief summary of what Quiver is, it's a platform that very much targets indie game developers who specifically use the Godot game engine. It's a place where you can go to access a wide variety of premium courses, project templates, art assets and more, as well as where you can share your own projects and then potentially in the future get them published as well. The purpose of this course was to give people, both beginners and experienced Godot developers, an introduction to the Godot 4 engine. Back then, the Godot 4 API was in a constant state of flux, and it was an exciting but at often times frustrating experience trying to keep the course content updated as the landscape shifted under our feet. That being said, the course was completed in August of that year and then made available on Quiver platform for free sometime shortly thereafter. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go and take a look. The content was released after the Godot 4 API became stable, so there shouldn't be any issues taking the course and following along with whatever latest version of the engine you're using. After I completed that initial course for the Quiver platform, I took a small break before diving right into what would be my biggest educational game development piece to date. The next course teaches viewers how to build a comprehensive 2D Metroidvania style game that includes advanced platforming mechanics, enemy AI, weapons, animations, state machines, upgrade mechanics, an inventory system, lighting, camera control, user interfaces, and much, much more. In fact, there's so much content in this course that it clocks in at over 30 hours of video material. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't give a huge shout out to Joe or JM Biv as he's known here on YouTube. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. He took the project source code as well as my absolutely gargantuan course notes document that I created over the course of several months and turned them into the final 33 hours of video material. Overall, the project has been in the works for roughly a year and it's finally available for people to access on the Quiver platform. If you're keen to know what result you can end up with after following the course, have a look at this short trailer. Now this course is one of several premium courses that are available as part of the Quiver Plus subscription, which comes in at £75 per year as of the time of this video, or roughly $95. I want to be clear that Quiver are not sponsoring this video, nor do I get a kickback from any purchases of a Quiver Plus subscription, but 
Since I poured my heart and soul into the hours upon hours of content that are available there, I would love it if you would go and check it out. As such, the first 100 of my subscribers to sign up to the Quiver Plus subscription using the coupon code CODEWITHTOM will receive a huge 20% off their first year subscription. This gives you full unrestricted access to not only the currently available premium courses, but all of the premium courses and content that will be released over the next 12 months. So if this is something you're interested in, head on over to the link in the description and be sure to use that coupon code CODEWITHTOM when you sign up. I'm super excited for you guys to finally get to see what I've been working on and I'd love to hear your feedback so please comment down below if you've had a chance to check out the content or of course just come and join the discord and let me know what you think directly. But that's not everything I've been doing. I've also had the great pleasure of working with Matt Dye on a game project of our own. Now Matt is actually the artist behind all of the great 2D game art you'll see in the Quiver courses. I'll leave a link to his amazing portfolio so you can check out his work. But together, Matt and I have been squirreling away on a 3D, isometric action combat game called Magic and Muskets. I won't go into much more detail here in this video, but do expect a devlog soon that goes into a little bit more detail about what the project is and where the current development is at. You can also follow me on Twitter, or X as it's apparently called now, uh, my name's at CodeWithTom there, where I've been sharing a few sneak peeks of the game so far. So. What's next for the Code with Tom channel? Well, you'll be pleased to hear that the courses are now out of the way, and I'm planning to get back to a much more consistent content schedule. Hopefully something a little more frequently than once every two years. I'm also planning to diversify the content a bit more, and not focus just on game development tutorials, but on the wider indie game development scene as a whole. This will of course include devlog updates on our game Magic and Muskets, but also general industry news, insights, and more. As well as new videos here on the channel though, I'm going to be starting a game development blog over on the Code with Tom website, that's codewithtom.com. As well as sending out a weekly game development newsletter that will allow me to cover a much broader range of game development related topics that might not need a whole video of their own. So if this is something that you're interested in, head on over to the website codewithtom.com and sign up to the newsletter. I'm aiming to get the first one out by the end of next week, so make sure you're one of the first to be signed up so you don't miss out on all of that juicy content. And I think that's everything I wanted to share with you guys today. I know it's been a long time coming, but I'm really excited for the future of the Code with Tom channel and the brand as a whole. And I want to thank every one of you who have subscribed, commented, joined the Discord, or just interacted with me in some way since the channel started. We're currently at a little under 12,000 subscribers, and that number has been steadily increasing despite my absence over the last two years. So thank you all again, I really, really appreciate it. That being said, if you're not subscribed and you are interested in seeing more game development related content here in the future, please do hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.